I'm here at the ruins of an 1800s mill town. Their mill burned down three times. Kind of makes me wonder if they maybe have an inn around here anywhere still. If they did, I could hang out all week doing math. Speaking of inns, an old puzzle tells of a traveling merchant who was stuck in town waiting for a check that was due to arrive in seven days. So he was going to have to spend seven nights at an inn. The only problem was he didn't have any money. All he had was a valuable golden chain with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven links. So he works out a deal with the innkeeper. Each night, he'll give her an additional link of his golden chain as collateral. Once he gets his check, he can pay her in cash, get his golden chain back, and everything will be hunky-dory. Now, the innkeeper insists she doesn't want the whole chain now, she wants one additional link each night. The merchant, of course, would like to minimize the damage that he does to his chain. So the question is this. What's the minimum number of cuts that he can make to his chain to fulfill the innkeeper's request and give her an additional link each night? Take a few minutes to think about it. Let me know what you think. My hint for you would be to think outside the box just a little bit. The one rule you have to make sure you're satisfying is that on night N, the innkeeper has N links of the chain. On night 4, she has 4 links. On night 6, she has 6 links, and so on. Grab a cup of coffee and let's solve this problem. Coffee Time Math with your host, Wrath of Math. The shocking answer to this puzzle is he only needs to make one cut to one link in the chain. If he cuts the third link in from the left, he's able to slide it out, removing it, leaving two attached over here and four attached over there. Then on night one, he gives the innkeeper the one link that he cut. On night two, he takes the one link back and then gives her this pair of links that are still attached. On night three, he gives her that one additional link, so now she's got three total. On night four, he takes them back and then gives her these four that are attached. On night five, he gives her that one additional link that he cut, bringing her total to five. On night six, he takes the one link back, gives her the two that are attached, so now she has those two and those four, so she's got six. And on night seven, again, he gives her that one additional link, bringing her total to seven. The next day, he can get his check, pay cash, get his chain back after having made only one cut like an absolute mastermind. So that is a solution. And that's it. Subscribe for more of the swankiest math videos on the internet.